You might have heard of terms such as cubes, dimensions, and measures in regard to OLAP modeling. These terms can be confusing if you're not an experienced modeler. Today we'll be looking at dimensions, what they are, and how they're used in OLAP modeling. So what is a dimension? Dimensions are lists of related items that define a certain aspect of the business. So why is this important? Data in its original form doesn't always make much sense. Just having data is little use to us unless we can structure it and view it in a way that's meaningful to us. For example, the number 50 on its own doesn't really mean anything. But if we know that the number 50 is actually the number of sales for action movies, the number becomes more meaningful. Dimensions are part of how we give meaning to our data. For example, product name, location, and months, they can be dimensions that we can use to group data. A cube may contain many different dimensions, and we can combine multiple dimensions with something called a measure to perform an analysis. For example, if we combine the product and month dimensions with a sales measure, we can see the number of sales for a product over the course of different months. So this has been a quick overview of what a dimension is in OLAP modeling. And that was just one example of how dimensions are used.